Why do millions of crabs migrate to this island every year? Every year, millions of these huge crabs emerge from the forest and migrate to the ocean, crowding across roads, streams, rocks, and beaches. The migration begins with the first rains of the rainy season. This normally occurs in October or November, although it might happen as late as December or January. Crab crabs across the island leave their homes at the same time and begin marching to the ocean. Male crabs lead the migration, followed by females along the route. The exact timing and speed of the migration is determined by the phase of the moon. They wait until the last quarter of the moon, when the tide is high but getting lower, and that's when they start moving. They're super smart because they somehow know exactly when it's time to leave their homes and start their journey. But there's a catch, they also need rain to kickstart their trip. Sometimes, if the rain comes just at the right time, they rush to get to where they need to go. But if the rain comes earlier than expected, they might take their time, stopping to eat and drink along the way. If the rain comes too late for them to start their journey on time, some of the crabs will just stay in their homes and wait. They'll try again next month instead. When it's time for the big migration, the larger male crabs lead the way to the sea. But once they get there, they're outnumbered by the females. After their long and tiring journey from the high plateau where they live, the crabs take a quick dip in the sea to get some moisture back, back into their bodies. Then, the male crabs move to the lower parts of the island and start digging burrows. There are so many crabs that the burrows are really close together, and the males often get into fights to claim their own spot. After a while, the female crabs join the males on the lower parts of the island, and they mate either in the burrows or nearby. Once the mating is done, the male crabs take another quick dip in the sea before they start their journey back home. The female crabs stay in the wet burrows. They lay eggs within three days after mating and will stay in the burrows for around two weeks while the eggs mature. Each female crab can produce up to 100,000 eggs, which she keeps in a brood pouch. When the moon is almost finished shining its light, crabs with eggs inside them come out of their holes. They gather together on the beach, finding shady spots where the land and water meet. In some areas you might see up to 100 crabs per square meter of beach or rock. When the tide starts to change before the sun comes up, the crabs go into the ocean and lay their eggs. Then, they go back to the forest. This happens for about five to six nights in a row during their big move. The eggs the crabs lay hatch into tiny baby crabs as soon as they touch the water. Lots of these baby crabs swirl around near the shore before the waves and the tide carry them out to sea. Over the next month, these baby crabs go through a few different stages of growing until they look like small shrimp called megalope. They hang out in pools close to the shore for a day or two until they turn into fully formed baby crabs and leave the water. The tiny crabs, which measure around five wide, begin migrating inland, taking approximately nine days to reach the shelter of the plateau. They will spend the first three years of their life hiding in rocky outcrops and forest trash. The vast majority of larvae, however, never make it out of the water. Instead, they are eaten by fish, manta rays, and the huge whale sharks that visit Christmas Island to take advantage of this annual feast. Most years, there are no or very few newborn crabs that emerge from the sea. However, once or twice a decade, a high number will survive which is sufficient to maintain the island's large red crab population. The red crab migration is Christmas Island's most popular tourist attraction, attracting nature lovers from all over the world. The best spots to see the migration and spawning are Drumsite, Flying Fish Cove, Ethel Beach, and Greta Beach. To protect our red crabs, some roads may close for part or all of the day during peak migratory periods, frequently on short notice. However, you can park your car and cautiously walk across the sea of moving crabs as they go to and from the beach. You'll also notice crab bridges built over the roads. These are excellent spots to stand and observe the movement of crabs. Peak notice boards and local radio provide updates on crab movements during the migration.